Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that automation. So what is automation and how uh, we can use this automation? We'll learn in our today's class. So basically, you know that Jira have a two type of project. One is the team managed project, another is the company managed project. In both the cases, automation uh, tab is available or automation is available. Where do we find out the automation? If you go to the project setting, under the project settings, we'll have a tab, dedicated tab called automation. So this is the automation tab, you will be able to find out that. So if you are opening this automation very first time, you will be able to find out that the rules, uh, I mean, you will land to the uh, library and then you have a audit log and you have a rules. So these are the options are available. And from here, you can create a automation. Now, if you go to the library and if you turn on that um, library, by default, there will be a couple of automation which is available out of box that can be um, enabled or uh, I'll just click the turn on them and you can see a couple of automation is by default activated that. So if you want to activate that uh, uh, automation and, uh, or if you want to use from that library, you can directly do that. You can, you can see there are a lot of automation already available. You can select and add that in your, based on your requirements. So these are the library automation, which is provided by Jira out of box. If you want to use them, you can simply use them. Now, um, if you want to create your own automation or if you want to inbuilt, uh, do your own automation, you can do that. So how can we do that? You can simply click the create rule and then you can create the automation. I'll show you in a bit. At that moment, I'm going to turn off this, all this automation that is um, out of box uh, automatically started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a automation rule for that. I'll click the create rule. And after that, you can see the first is that when to trigger. So when my automation should be triggered that I have to be select. And if you scroll down, there are various component or various situation where you can select that trigger condition. I mean that the automation is a um, event based. So what is event? So anything's happened. Let's say that issue created, issue updated, issue status changes, all these kind of event. Okay. So when these kind of things happens, the automation rule will be triggered. And then based on your um, expectation, let's say that you want to automatically assign somebody. If you want to automatically update the comments this time, it will be um, the automation will be run. Okay, so if you see here, you have um, a type of automation or type of event that you want to select. So let's say that I want to uh, trigger based on the issue trigger. So I'll select the issue and all the issue related uh, event are showing right now. So what are the things we can do? Let's say that issue field value changes, issue assigned, issue comment edited, issue commented, issue created, issue deleted, issue linked, deleted, issue linked anything happen like let's say any any situation or any uh, activity happen like right so issue moved issue transitioned anything happen we want to do or we want to trigger this rule then we can select that for our case let's say that i'm just creating a simple rule so let's say the issue created okay so what i'm telling that once the issue is created now we have a second component okay second we have a component what we want to do Okay, whenever the issue created, do you want to do any actions or bef before that I want to check any condition, right? We can check the condition. So I'll select the issue condition. So if you want to select the issue condition, you can see it is going after issue creator. There is a one dot is coming and there we can select the condition. So I'll select issue condition, a new condition. And what is the condition? Let's say that which on which condition I want to trigger. So you can see issue field condition. There is issue field condition, GQL condition, related condition. There are various condition. Let's say that I'm saying that issue field condition and then what condition I am saying that let's say that priority is so priority equal to high. Okay. So if the priority is high, I want to perform a action. Okay. What action I want to perform now, if you select that, you can see it is coming here. So after this satisfied, these things will be happened. So let's say that after priority uh, is high, what will be happen? Automatically issue will be in progress. You can select that or maybe you can assign somebody 
or anything whatever you want to um, do you can do okay now here also you have a all components you can select that issue actions and then all the issue related actions that you can done is available right so you can see all the issue related uh, things is um, are right now showing so let's say i want to assign and to whom i want to assign to a specific user specific group specific role or anything that we want to um, so i'll simply select that specific user and then once you select the specific user you need to select that on which specific user so copy from a issue or copy from a parent copy from a epic so copy from a trigger issue anything you can select so i am going to select a specific user at that moment my name so whenever uh, the issue will be created on a high priority issue has to be assigned to my name or you can select any particular list let's say that you have a list and you can uh, you know assign to a particular list i'll just save that and then once you save that you have a option to select a name or like uh, what should be the name and then i'll turn in on okay so now this issue is turned on if i go back to the automation again i have landed to this rules page and here the first rule is high issue so whenever the issue will be created in a high it will be assigned to myself let's see that so i'm just going to create a new issue and at that moment uh, let's say this issue is priority um, is i'm selecting medium and then i'm typing the test here and i will create this issue and if i open this issue at that moment this is assigned to as a unassigned so it means that the issue whatever is created is is unassigned state right now or the nobody is assigned now if i create a issue which is in actually uh, test to something like that and then priority is high so i'll select the priority is high and create and go to that issue And you can see um, the assignee is my name so it means that this time that automation rules is triggered and it is assigned to myself now one thing you notice that once it is assigned that there is a one um, uh, field called automation you can see in the bottom and this automation says that rule execution if you click that and here it will show that which type of automation rule executed and it mentioning that recently root a rule execution and this is mark as a uh, tick it means that this automation trigger and because of this automation this assignee is added now when i created that uh, you know uh, let's say i am going to create a normal medium priority that issue right so i am creating a medium priority issue and then if i open that rule execution is turned i mean rule execution is showing here assign is blank as expected but if you click here it is this check mark is not true right so it means that automation rule did not trigger for this issue so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you very much have a great day